some folks say that there's a place past the white alder grove, beyond the Smoky Mountain Range, where the vines creep up adobe walls and the Pacific Ocean laps against the sand. The place where cowboys go when they die, where the horses run wild like thunder crashing through the valley, unbroken and unbridled. Los Angeles, the city of angels, the city of quartz, the city of terrible beauty. As a Philadelphian transplant, I had many questions upon touching the tarmac in Destiny City. For instance, why is everyone so gosh darn friendly? Is it possible to survive without a car? Where is the best place to stock up on canned meat? The answers that I found have been hard won, and I'd like to pass them on to any person who could stand to use them. Firstly, everyone in Los Angeles is so darn friendly because they are afraid. They don't know who you are. You could be somebody powerful in the entertainment industry. Being nice is how strangers hedge their bets. Not like in Philadelphia. Nobody is powerful out there. People tell it like it is because there are no stakes. That's why you see so many fistfights on the bus. Secondly, you can survive without a car alright. If you're resourceful, Los Angeles is a city designed around the automobile. People worship the car with a cult-like fervor usually reserved for celebrities and politicians. Once, I even saw a shirtless man read aloud erotic poetry to his Ford Fiesta in the middle of a thorough wax town. Lastly, the best place to stock up on canned meats that I've found is Ronald's Meat House on Orange Grove Boulevard in Pasadena City. Ronald isn't much in the way of social graces, but my god is the man of meat encyclopedia. He knows about all the different kinds of meat how to spice them and tenderize them. He'll even tell you about human meat if you can prove that you're not a cop. Those are the things that I've learned in Southern California. To anybody from Temple University coming on out to the Golden State for studying and self-actualization, give me a ring. I can show you all the cool places I know and all the illegal wrestling moves I've learned.